Now then, do you remember when I built that PC before Christmas live on here? Well, I finally got around to testing it. Let's take a look. Now, the PC I built was pretty rubbish. If you don't remember, at the time what I did was bought the cheapest components I could that were brand new to build the cheapest PC possible. Uh, and I think it was Black Friday when I, when I did the shopping. I got some fairly good kit, apart from, there it is, this horrific Celeron processor. Now in order to show you what it's capable of, I'm not able to run any screen recording software on the device itself because it would just cause it to try and do too much all at once and it just wouldn't run anything. So what I've had to do is go old school and I've stuck my webcam in front of my telly. Okay, first things first, we'll take a look at this doing pretty much nothing in uh, Task Manager. So just sat idle, it's using almost 25% of the CPU, uh, which is not a great start, to be honest. Um, it does keep boosting up to 3.4 gigahertz as well. Uh, when you look at what's what's running, we've just got, well, Microsoft Defender running, which, we, yeah, we could, we could switch that off, uh, but I'm not gonna, this is kind of a real world view. Has now dropped right down to 2%, that's a good sign. Uh, using 3.4 gigabytes of the RAM. Uh, I've set the resolution here to 1080p. This is actually a 4K TV, uh, but the, the experience of trying to run 4K from this was appalling. Uh, the <laughs> the graphics card, I think this is probably the first example I've seen where where the, the built-in UHD graphics is actually bottlenecked by the CPU. Uh, we'll, we'll see about that in a minute. <laughs> so... A lot of you are asking for Cinebench uh, results, so I've I've only done the multi-core test. I couldn't be bothered waiting for the single core test. Uh, it gets a horrendous score of 1,368 points, which is appalling. Uh, anyway, in terms of games, I did I did try uh, a couple of old titles I've got on Steam with mixed results, uh, but what I thought I'd do, because of how cheap this PC is, we'll treat it that way and we'll we'll use some of the uh, the apps that are available from the Microsoft Store. So first things first, we'll have a look at Roblox. So there we go, um, this actually is, is rather playable. Smooth as anything this, I mean it, the graphics are clearly not turned up to the max. Just then when some more of the map loaded it did stutter a bit. But if you're just after a really, really cheap PC for Roblox, then uh, this would fit the bill. I'm going to get caught deliberately here. There we go. Got Minecraft here. Not changed any settings. I've just left them as they are out the box. Windows apps tend to uh, to do quite well in getting the, the default app settings correct. I'm guessing Microsoft do some handiwork with your specs and uh, to take a look at other people's real world data to find out how well it's going to run but yeah this this is more than playable at 1080p uh, as, as I was saying the uh, the graphics card is held back a bit by the processor and if you remember when I built this PC I was actually uh, I put in some fairly fast storage and also some fairly fast RAM um, so the only real bottleneck here is the processor itself uh, which is of course highly upgradable could go up to a Core i9 with uh, with this setup. We'll take a look at something else. Here we go with Asphalt 8 Airborne. Let's take a look, see how this runs. <laughs> I'm actually using the mouse to control my uh, turbo here. I didn't didn't realise I'd need to do that, but never mind. I'd say this is running nicely. It's running particularly well, to be honest. Very old game, but it can stretch some very uh, low spec PCs. But that's pretty nice, is that? So let's take a look what it's like with internet browsing. It's just on YouTube here. Um, I will have a look at Big Book Bunny 4K. 
see what happens when we try and play some 4k material just pause that go on to the settings crank it up to 2160p and we'll get the stats for nerds up I don't think you better see it uh, so I'll just have to tell you what's going on so we've got a good solid internet connection here but that's nothing to do with the PC so I'll, I'll just start playback this is 4K 60fps. <laughs> Amazingly, this is pretty, uh, pretty good. So it's dropped so far. 25 dropped from just over a thousand frames. Looks really nice, to be honest with you. Uh, the viewport's obviously 1080p because, uh, yeah. So it's actually handling 4K video quite well. Uh, that's interesting. In conclusion, we had fun building that PC. Well, I had fun building that PC. Some of you had fun helping out when uh, when I was building it. Uh, but this is definitely a problem. This thing needs to be swapped out. We need something better. So my question stroke challenge to you is, which processor do I put in the PC? Rules are quite simple. It's got to be compatible with all the other parts. So basically, any current generation Intel that has one of these LGA 1200 so let me know in the comments which processor do you want me to get next to put in here to uh, well keep up with the other components I do think given the tests that I did run to be very fair to the Celeron you can run some games on there very casual games and also it's perfect for media consumption so listening to Spotify watching YouTube videos uh, and also for educational purposes, so if you are looking to build a PC in order to attend classes, lectures, whatever you need to online, then this processor will handle all of it. I mean, it obviously doesn't have a camera built in, you'd have to get that separately, or use your phone as your camera. But uh, in terms of actually being able to work on Word documents, Google Docs, whatever it is, whichever platform, using it is capable of doing that I would not edit video and I would not try and run any high-end games on it because well they're just not going to run it'll probably handle some emulation but nothing too spectacular you could probably get it to run some GameCube stuff uh, push or anything below that anything above that PS2 PS3 absolutely not Dreamcast it might struggle with Sega Saturn sometimes quite quite a challenge to emulate could struggle with that n64 you should be fine that's it for this video thanks for watching and i have seen your comments on my last one i will get back to you on those i'll see you in the next one